welcome back welcome back to my channel my name is Karen and thank you so much for joining me on today's video if you're new to the channel and you want to keep seeing more of my content please make sure to click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you can know whenever I post a new video and if you find this video very helpful and you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also you can share it with your friends so on today's video guys I'll be doing a co-wash so a head twist for my last wash day which was last weekend before the weekend that i am in right now today it's a sunday so yeah i took out those tweets and then filmed like other videos yesterday so i have this hairstyle since yesterday as i was filming another video so yeah my hair it's dirty it has got product builder because on friday i used a gel on my edges so there's product build up on my edges so that's why i felt like i should have a co-wash and whatever that i do like during the week requires me to run around and all that so my hair is most likely to smell bad so i don't wanna smell bad like on a monday it's a fresh new week and i want to start over like with a fresh um looking hair so this is how my hair looks right now and guys please forgive me the background it could be a little bit noisy or you can just hear some weird noises that's because i have my fan on it's hot and i really cannot manage without it because it, you know, the heat outside is just doing whatever so it's really affecting my productivity because i'm not a fan of hot weathers so this is how my hair looks and yeah i just want to do a co-wash this twist out look still look nice but the problem is my hair is dirty i don't know if you can see that but there's just some product build up over there i hope you can see that so yeah guys i really wanna you know give my hair that fresh feeling again so um, yeah this is how the back looks i hope it's clear i hope that you could see the back so i'm just gonna go and rinse my hair and i will be back so guys i am back and i rinsed my hair so i rinsed my hair like thoroughly i did not just make it damp but I rinsed it as though I was rimpy, um, not <laughs> rinsing a shampoo of my hair. So, because I really wanted to remove like product buildup primarily with water. So, that's why I made sure that I rinsed with a lot of water just to make sure that my hair is very, very damp. So, yeah if you're low porosity and you just want that um thorough rinse using water i advise you to use warm water i'm gonna use this so guys please don't mind my nails i buy them like there's only this one this one that i normally leave out for some purposes and um, such as opening stuff and all those kind of things so yeah i bite my nails please forgive me like don't be disgusted i keep them clean all the time i'm just gonna go ahead and um section my hair so i normally section now like in five sections because my hair has grown a little bit so i can section my hair into five sections which is quite an improvement because whew, i used to work with like a whole lot of sections like i felt like the process was just taking time and yeah my hair has grown like i'm sure you can see the length now it's quite um long what i'll be using today it's the hebel essence um real uh, botanics conditioner so it's my first time using this conditioner like on my youtube channel and i think it's the second time i try it so 
yeah this is it i bought it from take a lot it was on sale um 95 rands and if it's not on sale it's 160 rands so it's very expensive and i don't think i'll buy this after my first experience but we're gonna talk about it when i just finish applying it because right now i'm just gonna apply on this section and i'm gonna do all the other sections like on um outside the camera or off camera yeah yeah off camera <laughs> so yeah guys i'm just gonna apply like significant amount like i really cannot say much on how much you should apply you know your hair and our hair volume and densities are different so you might as well want to apply um, as much amount that is suitable for your hair so i'm just starting from the ends down to the roots because i feel like my ends are the most driest so i apply from the from the ends to the roots so yeah that's probably what i'll be doing on each section so about detangling guys i used to use tools to detangle my hair but now i'm not a fan anymore i'm not saying that i'm not gonna use them like completely but i'm not a fan anymore because they're just hurting my scalp like it hurts to detangle my hair even if i try but it hurts even if i'm slow and gentle but at some point it hurts i don't know why it hurts like it hurts guys my scalp is so sensitive right now and i don't know why because before everything was just fine but right now i finger detangle my hair so this is the amount of hair that i lost in this section actually not that i think i have more yeah so this is the amount of shed hair that i have lost so it's something that i'm not gonna go crazy about because right now my hair density has increased and my the length as well has increased so the strands are bound to be longer so my hair is longer in general so yeah so about detangling guys i'm i'm, I'm just gonna finger detangle like that um this product does not have too much slip so you need to be gentle it does not have like that slip that i was hoping for when i heard about the product because i thought that with this product i was going to be able to detangle even better with tools but still it's just like any other regular conditioner and um, like tresme conditioners and all that like the regular conditioners not the deep conditioners so i feel like i'll go for tresme because it's got like 750 milliliters for like almost the same amount as this one but this one it's um let me check it's 400 milliliters and it's the same price as the tresme and it does the same job as that one so i'd rather stick with the tresme and um, conditioner for my for my co-washes so yeah i think that will be best so guys this video it's like already long i talk a lot so guys i'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the sections as well and i'm just gonna put this section on a twist let me just be quick So that's how it looks so what i'm gonna do right now i need to secure my hair to prevent breakage during washing so i use this rubber band so most of you might, might have seen this like especially on my instagram um i tie my hair like in the ends just to prevent breakage when i am washing my hair or rinsing my hair so i keep it there to secure my ends like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair off camera so yeah So guys i am done so this is how the other side looks like both sides this is how they look so yeah guys that's more or less what i do so this conditioner does not have like a lot of slip like 
I expected like the way they praise it okay maybe my hair is just too forcey or too kinky that's why I actually struggled with detangle my hair but the struggle was not that much because at the end of the day my hair is not stripped of its previous product so the sleep was a little bit increased because I still had a little bit of product and my hair was already soft after actually rinsing with water for the first time so I'm just gonna rinse my hair and I'm gonna show you how my hair is gonna look after rinsing out this product so this is how my hair looks it looks clean it is clean and conditioned it looks very soft it is very soft and manageable like I love the texture so yeah guys this is how it looks this is how my hair like is prone you can see the bit of length right there so yeah guys this is how my hair is so um, for me the benefits of actually using a co-wash is um, having to replenish or to like add more moisture if I don't want to go through like the whole process of a full wash day I can just you know wash my hair get it cleaned up and remove any kind of sweat or bad smell that I don't like about my hair after a week or in between my wash day so that's why I do co-wash my hair like in the middle of my wash day so it works for me it works very well I love this process so this is the amount of hair like for every section this is the amount of hair so I'm thinking that I should do a specific video for shed hair and breakage so I hope that you found this video very helpful if you want to keep seeing more of my content please please make sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell and also do not forget to share this video with others so if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up so thank you so much guys for watching I'll catch you guys on my next video bye